Hello everyone, once again welcome to my channel, this is Kurt, and you are watching, Kurt Me PH. And for today's video we're talking about the steam turbine principle, and its general types. But before that, let's go take a look on what is a steam turbine in marine application. Marine steam turbine is a mechanical equipment found inside the engine room, it is used to drive the auxiliary machineries like, pumps, and generators rotors, or even the main propulsion system of the ship. But how do the marine steam turbine works as a prime mover, and a driver to the rotating machineries on board ships? To create a rotating motion of the turbine shaft, the steam turbine needed an external force to do a mechanical work, as the name suggests, the turbine uses the energy of the steam produced by the boiler, by extracting the thermal energy from pressurized steam and convert into a mechanical rotating motion. The rotating motion output of the steam turbine is used to drive the auxiliary machineries, the turbine is connected to the pump directly by coupling, and for alternator and propulsion system, the turbine is connected to a reduction gear to reduce the speed from a thousand rpm, to a hundred or less. Let's proceed to the two general types of the steam turbine, the impulse, and the reaction turbines. In the impulse steam turbine, the rotor spins due to the force, or direct push of the steam on the rotor blade's bucket, as the illustration shows, the steam is directly pushing the rotor bucket by the use of the steam nozzle, while the reaction steam turbine spin, and works from the reaction force, when the action force of the steam passes through the rotor blade curves. Here's a quick highlight distinction between impulse and reaction turbine. The blades of the impulse rotor are symmetrical in form due to their shape and size similarities, while the reaction blades are asymmetrical in forms due to blade sizes and design differ in every stages. The speed of the steam in impulse turbine is higher, while the reaction turbine the steam speed is lower. Also, the impulse steam turbines are having a high blade potency curve, while the reaction turbine blade potency are lower. And that is all for the steam turbine principle, and basic types of construction, on the next video, I will be discussing the steam turbine construction, mounting, parts and safety system. If you like this video please don't hesitate to hit the like button, and if you have a video request regarding marine engineering, please drop it down in the comment section, it will be my pleasure, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.